gosh, you gotta help me. I swear to you, I'm a really good webcam. It's just, ugh, I got really bad drivers and settings and software. Someone help me. That's what I'm here for. Up next. Okay, so the Logitech C922. This is supposed to be the camera that's supposed to surpass uh, the old previous one, the C920. And I made a video on that one as well for the best settings for that. But there's been some some sort of confusion. You know, when the C922 came out, everyone expected it would probably use the same software or have so maybe have software similar to the C920. But that's not the case. The drivers and the software has just been sorry and the camera came last year and they still haven't done anything to improve the software as well. So like I said, uh, I'm gonna help you out. All right, so right now I am recording my camera footage in OBS Studio, but I'm gonna step out just for a second and I'm gonna show you the options you have to actually tweak the settings for your camera. Okay, so first I have, uh, when you are on when you go to the Logitech website, you can download the, uh, the Logitech gaming software. This will at least give you a video preview for your Logitech camera. Now, the, the preview screen is really, really, really small, so I'm not really sure what you, uh, what you can do. And you can see you lack the option of actually recording uh, your settings as well. You do get a little uh, recording settings here. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, camera settings for the camera, but you know it's bit of a bit of a a, a stripped down version from the previous C920 software. Okay, so what we do have is you can go and download some camera settings, and you do bring up some advanced options uh, that you can, that you can use for the camera as well. Now, before we move along, we're gonna go back into OBS Studio. Okay, and just like my previous video on the C920, the best way to get the best picture from your webcam is your lighting. And you see, I got a whole bunch of light behind me, but I've got very, very bad lighting in front of me. So I have a little camera, not a camera, so I got a little web light here. And just turn it on. And the light I'm using, it's a, a newer one. Um, and I use this for all, whenever I'm kind of doing any kind of webcam. And you don't need a web light, you don't need a, a light just like this. A, a ring light can be good, maybe soft boxes, those can be as well. It's just, you just wanna get proper lighting on you, but whatever is convenient for your situation, that's the light you wanna get. Okay, so I've got the web light, web light on me. It's, it's all, the camera's already looking great. And my theory about why this camera, um, why this camera has, um, become, I swear, I'm gonna get to the seconds, but real quick, my theory why the software for this camera is like really stri uh, stripped down is because the camera itself does a good job of getting the best picture it can by itself on auto, on on auto, just kind of by default, you just get a really good picture, and you only need slight tweaks um, uh, to the camera as well. Okay, so if you're going to, remember, we're just using OBS as far as. Um, viewing this so I can I can show you what's going on but once you with when you're in OBS and you do configure video it'll bring up your camera settings okay and this is the same settings that we that I just brought up oh crap I lost it these are the same settings that I brought up um, within um, the, when I was in the Logitech Logitech gaming software okay so first thing let's turn off we're gonna turn off the all the auto make sure that your power frequency anti flickering is at 60 Hertz Camera control, let us take, make sure your focus is off and make sure your exposure is off. Low light compensation, take it off. Remember, we want to, we want to make the camera do as little work as possible. The more work we, we put on the camera, the more your frame rate's gonna drop and the more grainier your video is gonna be. So less, less strain on the camera, the better your image is gonna be. All right, so turning everything off, it lo looks like we've already got some color, some little pop to our picture. All right, now, um, first thing, we. Ignore the zoom, ignore the focus, because we just want to focus on us. We're not going to be doing anything like this. It's just going to be just going to be here, right here. Um, exposure. I'm telling you right now. Um, I went back and forth playing with the settings. You don't want to move your exposure anywhere else from five, because as soon as you go to four, you start introducing noise into the picture. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like some kind of wavy lines entering the picture. If I go higher, you'll probably see what's going on. No, but it, you can actually see how it's definitely affecting the frame rate. Yeah, and you see how, how I've got the, the, the choppy lines. It's like there's gray, then light, gray, then light. That's what happens when, okay. So five is five, five is a sweet spot. There is no reason to move from five as far as the exposure goes for this camera. All right, so we'll go back to video properties or proc amp, whatever that means. Okay, brightness leave the same. Contrast leave the same. Saturation, we will, saturation sharpness, we will touch upon this, but first we're gonna adjust our white balance. Now, whenever you're using the, crap, it went away again. 
Now, as far as white balance, remember, white balance tells your camera, hey, hey, camera, this is the color white. I know you I know you know what all the colors look like on the, as far as the spectrum color, but this is the color white. So do, make your make your um, your point of reference for the colors from here. So right now we are going to take something here within my picture. Here we go. So this, I have this picture right here. It's white and I'm going to move my slider until I get a, a good representation white of white on my on my picture. So you can see the further you go, it goes blue and then it goes red. So we want to find a part where, okay, where my white is looking white, where it's, where it's looking white, but not bluish, not reddish. Okay, so that looks, that, this, this looks good right here. Now also keep in mind, for some reason, I don't know if it's a driver's or a camera, but for some reason, I found that every single time I go into the camera, I have to do this all over again. And I don't know why there's there's no way to save it. Um, maybe it's because I'm, I'm doing it from here. You may have to actually save it from the actual settings and save from there. But as far as OBS is not letting me save the settings um, from here. Um, and the settings, once again, are, right, these are the settings you can download and you can probably, you can save from here. Okay, oh, look at that and save my white balance portion right there. Okay, so I'll bring this up, bring it back up. Okay, so we've got my white balance set. Now let's really make the picture pop. Um, if you can, if you can notice here that there is a bit of a softening within the background and, and with my overall picture as well. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna play with the sharpness just to a point where whatever kind of fuzziness I have in my picture, it at least becomes a little clearer. So I'm gonna go, my default is 128. I'm gonna go all the way to the extreme. And now you can see it's adding a lot of noise to that picture. You can actually, you can, you can see a lot of things on my face. So we're just gonna back off until some some details within the background appear a little sharper. So right now, let's see, I've got my boxing gloves. I've got my, I've got some other things here that just appear a little blurry. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the less I go, the more blurry it gets. So I'm gonna go to a point maybe around, um, I'm gonna, I feel comfortable maybe around 140, where that kind of brings out the definition with things in the background, also within my within myself. Now, also keep in mind, yes, this is a webcam; it is 1080p. But the bigger the picture is, the worse and more funny, fuzzy and grainy it does get. And of course, the smaller the picture, the sharper the detail, because all the pixels are crammed together. You're gonna get a sharper looking image. So you can play with the sharpness, but you don't have to play with it too much because the actual size of the, what you're actually gonna see. You know, it's gonna cover all those things anyway. All right, so we've got our exposure down. We've adjusted our sharpness. We don't have to uh, touch the brightness or the contrast because the camera by default itself does a really good job. But if we really, if we really want to make our colors and our picture pop, um, and which I like to call like give maybe that little slight DSLR look, we're gonna play with the saturation. And we're not gonna put a lot of saturation. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna, we're gonna put a little pop, a little life to the colors. All right, so we're just gonna go a little bit, and right now I can use use my face or maybe this uh, um, my closet right here, and I just I just want to add like a little a little color. So it was 120 by default. If I go all the way, okay, so now it's just looking a little too crazy. I go ahead, okay, now it's just a little looking too gray. So I just want to go to a point where let's see, 128 was my default. Look at where I'll put just a, a little. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've got I've got a nice little. Um, you know, nice brown wooden uh, wood tone going on here. There's add a lot more rich tone to my color um, of, of my skin. Of course, you can look at a background. The colors within the, the object of the background are popping out as well. You know, you, know, you got like a nice little yellow there, a nice little strong blue. Of course, a red here in the tennis racket and an orange here. So things are, look, things are looking really good. And one thing that, uh, that I really like about this camera, uh, the C922, is that it gives you more natural looking tones, uh, skin tones, and you can, you can unlock those natural skin tones by just adjusting the saturation just a little bit. And where I decided to go is I decided to go with around 156. Remember, you really, you really don't want to get out of the scope of right here. Anything else is too much. Now, one more tip, one more tip. I found out that every single time I went and did, I do this, you see how, how my gain here is all the way to the bottom? My gain is not really at the bottom. For some reason, that is, that is a, a, a faux fake gain level. Okay, and as soon as I touch this, remember the gain. The gain is the introduction of light to the picture. It kind of artificially brightens your picture. Now, with the gain being back here, my picture should be dark. So as soon as I touch this, watch this. It goes dark. You know, for for some reason, that's a little quirk about the C922. Like it doesn't register the gain or something. 
I, okay, so I'll just go and I'll bring it back up, and then I can slowly get my picture back to where it was. And remember, the the gain is bringing an artificial lightness to the image. It's, it's almost like if you were to actually record in a really dark room, you would use the gain to actually brighten up the picture artificially. Um, but of course, if the more gain you use, the more overall the picture will look. All right, so I guess I'm going to sell around 179, 179 right there. So there you go. That's it. Uh, the Logitech C922. Um, I wish I can go a little further further with you as far as the frame rates, but for some reason, like I said before, the drivers and the software, you can't do a true recording of the video itself in, in where it'll give you a its own true recording bit rate and, and frame rates. Because since I am recording through OBS Studio, I'm getting I'm getting the recording resolution of what's set in OBS, no matter what. Um, it's just really weird. I have my camera here set to 19 by 20, but my overall recording output of output of the program is in 2K. And then when I re, when I re, press record and I stop, it's going to show it as, um, as as like a huge 2K file. Uh, um, yeah, 2K file and everything. So that's that's a little thing. Um, it's, it's a bit of a, a a bit of a weird thing. But how are we looking? I mean, you know, it's, it looks smooth. If I had to guess, um, this is probably maybe like. I'm just guessing, maybe 24 frames per second. Doesn't look like a smooth 30 frames per second. Um, but remember, um, the bring down your exposure. If your exposure is too high, then that affects the um, uh, the. I'm sorry, the exposure too high that affects affects your frame rate. Um, less work you put on the camera, the higher your framework your frame rate will be. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helped you out for the the best settings to get for your Logitech C922. It really is not a bad camera, but Follow those simple things. Use the crappy setting software or whatever software you use. If, if whatever software you use to actually view your camera, record your camera, you're gonna get those same uh, camera settings um, that's provided from the Logic website for the camera um, as well. All right, guys. If you found this video helpful, go ahead, leave a like. Uh, check out my channel for any kind of uh, for all my other videos. Um, subscribe if you like. And if you have any questions about uh, this camera, the C922 or the C920, or maybe just kind of improving the overall look of your image, go ahead. Sh you know, give me a shout out uh, in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Love getting back to you guys. Um, all right. So that's it for low nose. Mm, sort of, you know, until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.